That's okay. Perfect. Now for the final touch. This is a chip, uh, chipotle mayonnaise, homemade. Uh, mm -hmm. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. And it gives it like the... Mm. The good factor. These are onions cured in lime juice with habanero uh, chile. Mm -hmm. So we just put that for garnish in the center. That's... Yeah, right, right in the center. That's it. That's good enough. Perfect. Awesome. So now you have your octopus ready for making tacos. The next step is making your taco. So let me get this warm for you. You're going to burn your fingers. Right? One of the things that Americans don't know is they think a taco is anything like the hard, crusty thing. The, you know, the crisp, which is like what, a tostada? So down here, it's a tostada with its fried taco shells. They're not tacos, they're tostadas. A real taco is with a soft tortilla that's been slightly grilled. Some of the octopus in the center. Putting the octopus in the center. And, well you can put some of the... No, that's perfect. That's, that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Alright, we're gonna take a look at this using the patented grill dog zooming technique. Ah, oh, that is just aussacious looking. So who's gonna no, be the brave one to taste the taco? I love it. She is. Can you take the cheap? I love it. Oh, perfect. So roll it up. This is hot. Very nice and tender, delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's with some of Diego's special sauce. Mm. Very good. Yeah, I haven't had octopus since I've been in Japan, like two years ago. That looks really, really, really good. I love the marinated um, it's onions, right? Well, uh, the marinade is, no, it has chives. Chives? Uh, no, no, these are uh, the pink. Oh, yeah, they're uh, onions. Yeah. They have um, that's a... That's a nice technique. Now, um, where are you located here in Masalon? Well, we're located in the Golden Zone. We are uh, between uh, the Luna Palace Hotel and the uh, Ocean Palace Hotel. Very beautiful here. That's really good. You like it? Oh, yeah. This is the uh, Mahi Mahi Ceviche. Mahi Mahi Ceviche. Si. Well, the first thing you do to make a good Mahi Mahi Ceviche, mm -hmm. a lot of people cure the fish in lime. Right. But if you do that, it kind of screws up the line, the, the meat. Uh huh. So if you're Mexican and you don't need stuff to be cured, uh, you can just cure it in salt. Okay. That way the acid doesn't screw up the fish. Any kind of salt, you put regular salt in there, sea you salt. want sea salt, any kind of salt? Sea salt. Small pieces, sea salt, mix it, put it in the refrigerator, leave it there for three, four hours, trying to take out the water that melts up the right. ice every time you can. Okay. Get a texture like a like a scallop te texture. Mm -hmm. This sat in the refrigerator and salt for about three or four hours. Afterwards, you just mix it, first with the onions. I always do the onions first. Red onions. It's red onion, yeah. Right. You gotta, you gotta, there's a proportion of onion that is just right. And if you mix it all together, you're not gonna see how much onion you're putting into it. So first of all, you put in the onion, you mix it to see if you can see some of the red color in it. If it blends completely, then you need it to add a little more. If you can see the onion, then it's enough. That's good enough. Then cucumber. Everybody, in, at least here in Sinaloa, they use cucumber for ceviche. Dice cucumber. I do too. First of all, you gotta add the chile, because if you add too much, it might mm -hmm. be too spicy. So you first add the chile so you can notice, notice it. Those are jalapenos. Are no, that's serrano chile. Oh, okay, serrano. Some cilantro. Chopped cilantro. I think that's good enough. Now, instead of curing it, you're just going to use the lime for flavor. Okay. To get that acidity there in the, in the ceviche. If you were going to cure it, you would need at least a kilo, uh, three pounds of, of lime. But if it's just for flavor, three or four limes might be enough. Gotta taste it. 
take a little bit. Now, since you cured it in salt, you don't need to add pretty much any salt. Because the fish already has a salty flavor. Mm -hmm. You can add a little bit of pepper. Give her a kick. Give her a kick. Give her a kick. There you go. Maybe a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Completely optional. I think we are done. Thank you. 